Hello and welcome to the Every Other Saturday podcast YouTube channel for uh, the third week. Uh, Rounding up uh, all the transfer news uh, at Ibrox. It's been a, a down month, to be quite honest with you, in the transfer front. I thought we were going to start this series. There was going to be outgoings every week, maybe a sign or two. But so far, it's only really reporting on um, on rumours that we're seeing, uh, questions Gerard's been asking these press conferences and stuff. So... I mean, there's still what, a week left of the window, so there, something could still happen. But um, I we'll talk about a few players a day um, and their sort of probability of joining the club, whether that be in January or the summer. So um, I, if you like this video, uh, subscribe to the YouTube, uh, hit a like as well, and our socials are on the screen and in the description as well. So uh, I'd be appreciated if you would go to them as well. Um, so... The, f- the first rumour I was actually going to talk about was um, was about Preston. Uh, two players, Ben Davies and Daniel Johnson. i seen that sort of come about in the week for BBC Sports, Sky Sports were reporting it. Uh, these two guys were going to be basically on uh, pre-contracts. It seems to be the kind of business we're looking to do the now. Uh, the two of them were out of their uh, contract, but it seems to have been kind of rubbished. Nothing really came out. Uh, so, what's your thoughts on the two of them? I know we're chasing Daniel Johnson at the start of the year, uh, the start of the season. Sorry, uh, uh, ben, ben Davies. I know he's linked to Celtic as well, but I don't know much about him. Uh, no, uh, as I said, about that, as you said, mate, about that Johnson guy. I remember obviously been linked with him, but couldn't tell you about the uh, about the two of them. Obviously, I've watched Championship football, uh, mm-hmm. but no, nah, I don't know. I kind of no stand out enough for me. Um, I remember them. No, I've no. Well, you and Clovis, mate, I've not heard it too. No, so I, I seen that. I didn't really know it down or look into them any further because it doesn't really seem likely. And then uh, the other two that were actually going to go in depth about the day is came came actually last night. I was, I was trying to note down to get ideas to make this video. There was it was bare to be quite honest with you, um, but. Two Bournemouth lads have uh, come into the fold. Rangers seem to be chasing them. Uh, I've seen Andy Newport report it on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And I've seen a few uh, journalists report it as well. Gerard talking about it in his press conference today. Obviously, he's not going to really confirm it as of yet. But these two players are Jack Simpson. And it's another it's another tough name to pronounce. Right. Namdi Offerbo. Offerbo. That's what I'm going to go with. Uh, I don't actually know. He's a... Uh, Dutch boy. He's Nigerian, I'm sure. Nigerian. He's Nigerian. Uh, I thought he was Dutch. I think you're thinking of the guy for Coventry that we were linked to earlier on. No heard of him really about that either, but uh, he's Dutch. I've, but I've seen him linked in that. But, uh, aye, so we'll start with Jack Simpson then. Uh, got his debut, I think, last season, just at the end of the year after Bournemouth were relegated. 24-year-old centre-back, uh, English, which is great for future um, sort of sales and stuff. You've seen how well it's worked out for Goldson uh, coming up here. Uh, aye, so he played Bournemouth. He's started nine, or he's had nine appearances in total this season. He's been in and out of the squad. Uh, it looks to be a pre-contract deal if anything uh, was going to happen for the summer. But we do face um, sort of strong competition for Cardiff, who... Apparently, I already had a 750k bid accepted for the guy, but he's he's since came back and said, "Look, I don't really, I want to fight for my place at Bournemouth until my contract runs out." So, uh, Cardiff obviously has an interest in the guy. Mm. Uh, I've not seen much him, um, but I mean, he looks like he could have a good future up here if he came anyway in the summer. Aye, well, uh, obviously you'd like him because you're a big fan of The Simpsons, mate, so, um, <laughs> aye. Yeah, where are we still playing the part? He's a centre-back. He's a defender. Mm-hmm. He's a centre-back? He's a centre-back, aye. Centre-back, aye, aye. Well, you need competition, mate. That's what I said to you. If you, you're going to win leagues, you're going to win titles, you need competition. You always need people challenging. People like Goldson, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Balogun and Hollander for the places, which is it's good to see Gerard thinking about that already. And uh, that's what I like from my manager. Don't know much about the guy yet again. Um, mm-hmm. But no, if he comes up, fair play to the boy. I hope he does a business. Aye. And um, I feel that 
been linked to Ben Davies, also a centre back, English Simpson, centre back, English. I think we'll see maybe one of them come in eventually. Uh, Jack Simpson at the moment seems more probable, but uh, I, as I said, Cardiff uh, had a bid in for him. I don't know if he'll end up joining there, but apparently he said he wants to fight for his place. Uh, so I feel like that could be a good signing. It just makes me wonder, uh, does that mean Edmondson out the door? Uh, does that mean what, what's next for Katic, Hollander, Balogun, uh, players like that? Because if, if you're bringing in our centre-back, um, <coughs> who knows what's uh, next for them? Balogun might not be there next season, you never know. So. Yeah, aye, true. Um, aye, so Balogun... I think like, he should be. I think he deserves a, another year on the deal. Aye, he's got a... I can not have the option of another year on, on Balogun's contract. I mean, I'd take that up personally as well. Uh, he's been great this season so far. But, I mean, I'll trust what the manager thinks at the end of the day. If he's looking to get this guy up, I, I, I believe in it. Even if I've not really seen much of him, I, I do believe it could be a decent signing. Like, there's not many that haven't worked out for Gerrard. Um, obviously, in his first season, it was a bit hit and miss with Gresda, Sadiq, players like that, maybe. But recently, I mean, he's made sort of... Good, good signings uh, in the past few seasons. I so uh, definitely one to look out for. We'll stay obviously in touch with that. Um, and then actually, I also for Bournemouth, as I said, don't like to say his name again. But he's a he's a centre defensive midfielder. He's twenty one years old. Um, he said five appearances this season. Uh, last season he was on loan at Wickham Wanderers, and he got them promoted. Uh, so I mean. <laughs> He, he knows what it's like to to obviously touch silverware. Um, aye, so he, uh, he, done, he done well there last season, got on the radar of a few teams. Uh, struggled really to push for a starting place in this Bournemouth side, but uh, he's promising. He's 21 years old, as I say. Uh, probably coming in for that Nigeria national team soon as well. Um, aye, similar to Simpson, pre-contract, if anything. And it'll probably be for next summer. Uh, FN, I don't think he'll be here in January. Well, I like to see. <clears throat> I like to see a young, hungry talent come up. Obviously, mate, that's what I'm on about yet again. Then you don't know. Do you know what I mean? I think we, what was it, Kamara as well? You didn't know. He, obviously, he played in the league, but you didn't know. He, mm-hmm. Know that much about him? Do you know what I mean? To put the jersey on, so it could be maybe be so that situation. As I said uh, in the podcast, I like the idea that Gerard is starting to think about. Do you know what I mean? Summer plans in terms of going again, rebuilding, mm-hmm. adding to squad, adding competition for, for players who seem to be a bit comfortable, let's say, in positions. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So let's be honest, Kamara and I don't really have, do you know what I mean, proper challengers. So it's good to see maybe he's going for young lads to come up, challenge them for, do you know what I mean, starting positions. That's what I like to see for Gerard. I, I agree with you. I think that's a good uh, point to make. We were talking about it, obviously, we. If we end up having success this season, we don't want it to be just like a one-time thing and we'll just fall apart again. We want it to be something we build on, get better at. And I think with Gerard's comments and what you're seeing with the, all these pre-contracts and stuff, I feel that he is uh, building for seasons and seasons ahead. Uh, I don't think he's just trying to get like this one season out of the way and do what we have to do. Uh, I, I feel that he's, he's going about it in the right way. Not revealing too much about anybody, uh, respecting the, the players' clubs, obviously. And um, I will see if anything happens on that front. Uh, well, it might even be through coming months after January. I don't know if you're allowed to make pre contract offers um, then, but I uh, deals will be done eventually uh, because, I, as I say, he looks to be getting players in for summer. So if these two are, if these two are, you know, I just. I just think that boy for Aberdeen's the one that's probably going to more likely to come in. That's mm-hmm. going to be honest with you. I could see that one being the one that gets done. Um, mm-hmm. Personally, mate. Don't look like you all fell, but I can no. see that one getting getting done this window. I, I, I quite uh, watched a bit of Scott Wright since we done the video on him last week. And I mean, I kind of like the idea of him coming in this window to challenge Ryan Kent. I, I feel like that could be good going forward. He obviously knows the league as well. Uh, so I, I feel like that could be one that would... That's what I desperately need, but it'd be a really good addition to the side, uh, I would personally say. I 100%. Um, aye, and that's pretty much 
it for those two players. Outgoings that may still happen before uh, next week. I, I feel like Jordan Jones is it's bound to happen eventually. Uh, Greg Stewart, I've heard, maybe linked by Aberdeen. Um, Glenn Middleton, Hibs and stuff. Um, well, I've heard, I've heard going the, back to Hibs. I've heard rumours uh, Middleton going out to other Scottish sides and stuff. I don't know if we can even loan him to Hibs, but because Murphy's already there. I don't think I think I was all the shit I was reading, but um, I I don't expect maybe to go out. I think Brandon Barker will probably stay, uh, but I think Jones Stewart, as I said, uh, they'll be out maybe this window uh, for a loan or something like that. The only only thing I've got one that I've always seen is that by few Coventry's. I've said that that's the one I've seen only that was Coventry. I mean, I've not heard really anything else on it uh, to be quite honest with you it seems to be these rumours pop up sort of the end of every week and then they just disappear and you don't hear them about them again like, I didn't, I've not heard about Scott Wright this full week yeah. um, so I we just need to keep an eye on it and see what happens but see what happens mate um, aye, that's pretty much all I've got to say today not much to talk about in depth but just obviously bring you sort of a bit of a fact file on each player. Uh, and else you want to add, mate? Um, no, mate. I just honestly, we start we start this sort of series on on YouTube, and Rangers don't get any business done. Nobody's leaving. Do you know what I mean? Get a business no. done, Rangers. Get it done. Nah, I know you've got something to talk about. We need something to talk yeah. about in depth here. Um, nah, I agree with you. Uh, hopefully. Right, but what day is today? The twenty second. We'll be in the twenty ninth next week. So maybe next Friday. I mean, we'll get a uh, concrete sort of news to um, basically report and have our opinion on. So I uh, will look forward to that happening. Hopefully, mm. some of these go over the line, and we're not just talking for fucking for nothing at the end of the day. So, um, <laughs> aye, that's that's pretty much it for the video. Um, aye, as I said, make sure you like, subscribe. Um, we're coming up on 60 subscribers now, so we're moving up. Um, and I will be back on uh, the morrow now. Uh, we uh, some reaction to the Ross County game, so hopefully, we can get the win there. And I uh, stay safe and uh, uh, cheers. <laughs>